Right now, the father of Jacob Blake has been arrested in Ohio while protesting the death of a man killed by police in Akron, Ohio. Part of Blake's arrest was captured on video. Rebecca Clough spoke with the Blake family attorney about what happened. He's handicapped! That's Jacob Blake Sr. That's Jacob Blake Sr. Video shows the moment Jacob Blake Sr. was arrested last night along with the aunt of Brianna Taylor. It happened while they were protesting the death of Jalen Walker in Akron, Ohio. The unarmed man was shot more than 60 times after he ran from a traffic stop last week. After the Jacob Blake situation, he's been involved in many other protests across the country um, in this regard. Blake's son, Jacob Blake Jr., was shot by Kenosha police in August 2020 and left partially paralyzed. Brianna Taylor was also killed that same year by Louisville police during a raid on her apartment. Today, community activists are calling for their family members' release. And we're demanding that the mayor and police chief, but the mayor specifically, release all of those who have been arrested for peacefully protesting. Send them home to their families. The video from last night shows some sort of a struggle between a protester and police. Jacob Blake Sr. gets out of a white vehicle and reaches between them. The video cuts away and then a few seconds later, you see Blake Sr. held by a police officer against a barricade. After his arrest, our sister station in Ohio reports Blake Sr. was taken to the hospital. I think the video is very clear that uh, Jacob Blake Sr. really wasn't posing a threat to anyone. The actions by the officers, especially in dealing with the protesters out in Akron, were clearly excessive. Um, I think that the force that was used was completely unjustified. We did reach out to the Akron, Ohio Police Department, but have not heard back. Jacob Blake Sr. is facing four misdemeanor charges, including resisting a police officer and riot. He's expected to be arraigned on those charges tomorrow. Reporting in Milwaukee, Rebecca Clough, TMJ4 News.